welcome back to another video so we're going to get my left hand done today i've already prepped my nails so i'm just going to go straight in and buff off the shiny surface and now i'm going in with venalisa dehydrator and venalisa acid free primer yeah i've already pushed my cuticles back got rid of all the dead skin all the preppy boring stuff that's already done. Very important step. Very boring, but very important. <laughs> so I'm using Glitter Planet Easy Tips Clear Stiletto. So I'm just going to pick out the right sizes. You want it to fit really snug from side wall to side wall. Like that. These are rather long. <laughs> so I'm using just my regular brush on nail glue. So I'll just do this first one with you. And I'll skip through, skip past the rest. So I'll literally just hold it on to the tip of my nail. Squeeze it in at the sides, them little side wings. Make sure it's stuck down at the sides. And then that's it stuck on, look. These are really, really nice tips actually. Really nice. Look at the length of them, my gosh. <laughs> They'd be good for picky bogies, wouldn't they? If you're the kind of person that picks bogies. I'm not one of them people. <laughs> so I've snipped them down to more of a coffin still quite long um, now I'm just filing where I've glued it on just blending it in with the natural nail and then I'm going to buff off all the shiny surface and then give my nails a nice scrub so I'm going in now with Madame Glam's base coat and I'm just going to base coat over the whole over my natural nail and over the whole tip that's going to go in the lamp for 30 seconds. So I'm going to be putting foil on two of these nails. So I'm just wiping that tacky layer off because I don't want it to mix with my foil glue. It can make it not work so good. So this is the foil I'm using. This is from Sparkle Supplies. Beautiful. I can't remember what it's called. I'll put it up on the screen and I'm using my cart foil glue. You can get 15% off at Sparkle Supplies, guys, using my code. UPBA15 I think it is, I'll flash it on the screen. So that McCart foil glue has been cured for 30 seconds. So I'm just going to press that on, give it a good rub a dub dub. And I'm going to put it on my pinky as well. Gorgeous foil, I can't remember what it's called. Like I said, I'll flash it on screen. And I'm only putting this foil just on the, about just over halfway because I'm going to be doing a nail bed. Um, did I say I'm using hard gel today? I <laughs> didn't even tell you what I was using. I'm going to use a Builder Gel, Hard Gel. I'm actually using a DIY gel. The gel that I'm going to be using was actually... Um, I, can't, I can't remember if it was clear or white. I think it was white. And I've No, it was clear. It was a clear Builder Gel. So this is it, and I've changed it into a beautiful, beautiful... Like a baby pink, pale bubblegum pink. I absolutely love that the colour this turned out. Love it. So I'm going to start with my pinky. These two nails with the foil on is going to be a nail bed. So I'm starting, I've put my blob, I've tried doing it a different way this time and I wasn't really comfortable so I'll go back to doing it my other way on the next nail. <laughs> so I'm, I've just put that bead as far down as I want my nail bed to go and then I'm just kind of, this is just kind of a really thin layer just to map out where I want my nail bed to be. Um, yeah, I'm going to stick that in the lamp for 30 seconds and then I'm going to go in with another thicker bead just to build up that nail bed. So I'm going in with a thicker bead. Now I'm just using a tiny brush on my pinky because my pinkies are so tiny. I have to use a tiny little brush. So can you see I'm starting at the cuticle area. This is how I normally do it. I tried to do it by starting at the tip of the nail bed like Lizette. Lizette, I can't remember her second name. Like she does it but I struggled. So yeah, I've just gone back to doing it how I do it. And yeah, I'll stick to doing it this way. I think it's much easier for me. Just start at the cuticle area, tuck it in nice and neat and then just keep swiping it and walking it down the nail like that. And I'm going to stick that in the lamp for a full 60 seconds cure now and I'm going to do exactly the same on the middle nail. Voila, there we go. I love the colour of that builder gel, it's perfect. <laughs> 
So my other nails now, I'll just show you doing this one, is just going to be a full nail of the Builder Gel. So I start by doing a really, really thin slip layer, a bit like a base coat. And this just helps, just helps the gel glide over the nail better, keeps it where you want it to be. So like with the nail bed, I'm going to just tuck it in nice and neat at the cuticle area. And then I will just swipe side to side and walk it down the nail. Again, this is not a very thick layer, especially towards the tip, it's really thin. My second layer is what I'll use to build up the apex in the top third of the nail strength. That's going to get a 30 second cure. And then my second coat will get a full 60 second cure. Holding it upside down like that just brings all the gel back into the middle where it should be. Right guys, so that is them all on. Very, really not a lot of filing to do, so I'm just going to give them a quick file and a buff off camera just to neaten them up a little bit. Um, and that's them filed and buffed. So I'm going to start with the pinky and I'm just going to encapsulate this free edge. Um, I did plan on doing something else actually and I got it wrong and I had to file them all off in a minute, but I did all that off camera. <laughs> So I'm just going to file the, encapsulate this free edge where the foil is on both of these foil nails and I'll, again I'll give them a quick file and a buff off camera. Right, that is them all filed and buffed. Can you see the nail beds don't look so neat anymore because they had to do them again. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I'm using Madame Glam Fresh Water Tulips and Perfect White Glitter Planets Ultraviolet. I, I liked that because it's got kind of blue shift to it, what I thought would be perfect for this set. So I'm using Madame Glam's No Wipe Top Coat. I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds and I'm just going to do a bit of a... Um, um, what am I doing? I'm just going to outline <laughs> these nail beds in white on these foil nails and I'm going to sprinkle that ultraviolet glitter into this white gel polish whilst it's still wet. I'll let you watch this guys and I'll be back in a sec. Right, so that is my middle finger and pinky now. They've both got a little white band around the f nail bed. Yeah, yeah, can't speak today. So on this pointer finger and ring finger, I'm just going to show you doing doing this one pointer finger. I'm just going to do some kind of swirly pattern. So I'm starting with the pink and I want to do kind of a skinny line up the middle and then I'm going to completely colour it in at the top here like a thick, like a thick bit around <laughs> my cuticle area and then can you see look I'm just going to thin it off towards the bottom and that's going to get put in the lamp for 30 seconds and I'm going to do another swirl next to it in the blue fresh water colour you can get 30% off Madame Glam products guys using my code unpolished30 all my discount codes and links are always in my description box
So that's my blue line done as well. I'm just going to encapsulate these now, get them top coated. This is what will be the final top coat anyway, because I want to sprinkle glitter into this white one. So I've put this white one on top of the top coat and I'm going to sprinkle the glitter into the wet gel polish, just like I did on the other nails. Right guys, I'm going to get these finished now, so I'm using some gem glue that cures in the lamp. I'm just going to get some gem stuck on these now, um, and I've got some little flowery things that I'm going to stick on as well. So I will let you watch and I'll be back at the end. There we go guys, that is them finished, I love them. So many things went wrong with this set guys. I had, I had to file my nail beds down and build them up twice. <laughs> they ended up taking hours and I'm still not happy with the nail beds because you can see the foil through them underneath because I've had to file them that thin, but I wasn't doing them for a fourth time. But they turned out really pretty, I like them, I like them a lot. Let me know what you think, guys. Do you like them? I like them a lot. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And hopefully I'll see you all back in my next one. Take care. Bye.